guys today we are going to talk about alerts so basically there are three different type of alerts one is called simple alert or a javascript alert okay so we are going to use this particular website so if i launch this particular website you will get all the different options to work on different elements basically it is a website to work with automation so here i'll just select javascript alerts so we'll talk about the first alert in the first alert if you click on this you'll be able to see a pop up something like this now it is not possible to get the element of this you will not be able to locate it into the dom because it is coming by browser okay now in this type of alert we'll only have one button where we have to click on okay or something similar to that okay so these type of alerts are called simple alerts and since it is created in javascript it is called as javascript alert as well okay now let's take a quick look at this and how we are going to work around this now for you to make sure that your scenario is working fine this website is provided very nicely that here if you see in the results section if i'll click on okay it will say you have successfully clicked an alert so we can validate what we are doing is working fine now let's quickly move to eclipse you can use eclipse or any other id okay i'll just write alerts demo i'll click on this and the basic code to launch the driver and launch the url i'll copy from here and i'll put it here now the website which we have to launch is this so i'll copy this okay now for us to work with this we have to so i'll first write simple or javascript alert okay now first thing we need to do is we need to click on this and then click on the pop up so we have to get the uh, get the property of that get the locator unique element of this so you, you can use anything whatever works for you uh i can use uh, you focus on this so we can quickly use uh, this uh, x path here so i'll just try it i'll copy this and since it is button i'm going to put it as button and that is the text so i'll put text equal to single quotes and i'll put that text here and uh, my bad so this is working fine and it is focusing on the right place okay now i'll just use this x path and i'll just write this driver dot find element by dot x path and uh, sorry i'll put double quotes here and i'll pass the x path okay now in case you are looking to understand about locators i have videos on my channel so we can you can go through that as well uh, so with this i am able to locate this particular button now i want to perform an action we can obviously create a web element and all but uh, since we are focusing on alert i'm not going to do that and i'm going to just click on this right here so i'll pass the click functionality now with this particular command i'm going to get with this now this is our problem statement or uh, this is what we are trying to understand so it's pretty easy to work with simple alert you just write driver dot switch switch to sorry one second driver dot switch to then dot alert so what happens is whenever you are working on uh, alerts the focus is going to get changed from this page to this page so that's why we have to first use driver dot switch to dot alert and then whatever action we want to perform on that so let's say i want to click on okay so i'll get accept option accept dismiss then there are a lot of other functions but we are going to focus on the important ones so if i click on accept here and i'll close this and that's all you need to work with simple alerts so i will uh, or let let it be open it will open anyways a new this thing so i'll run this code and it is going to happen little quickly but we'll be able to validate it in the result section what happened okay so see it has clicked on the js alert and here you see it is saying you successfully clicked an alert now in real time scenarios whichever application you are working with if it is a simple alert you can use this functionality or use this particular code and work similarly it is going to work perfectly fine now the second type of alert is 
confirmation alert or javascript prompt alert let me copy this and let me paste it here okay now let's take a look at this in case of confirmation you will have two options that's what confirmation means right so i am a js confirm and you have okay and cancel so see if i'm clicking on okay it will say you have clicked okay if i'm clicking on cancel it is going to say you have clicked cancel so let's test this out now again for js confirm since we are going to click on this i'm going to get uh, the locator for this so let me work in this image it is already open so i'll click on this inspect and we can use similar thing instead of uh, js alert i'll use js confirm click for js confirm so i'll just change this and this is going to work fine confirm one of one so we are good to use i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this here driver dot find element by dot x path and i'm going to mention the x path here and we want to click on this so i'm going to mention click here okay since we are trying to understand this and we are not going to click on this i'm going to comment this out okay i'm going to comment this out as well okay now uh, in case of confirmation alert also we have two options so understand this thing that similar functionality needs to be used we can either accept or reject so we can click on ok or cancel so i'll just write driver dot switch to dot alert this is what i told to be used to change the focus now i can either accept so in in our case it is ok button i believe so with this it is going to click on ok and if i'm right driver dot switch to dot alert and then if i'm clicking on dismiss is the functionality to select cancel or whatever is the negative button is there okay so let me just comment this out since first we are trying to validate if it is clicking on ok or not so let's run this and it is going to click on the second prompt and then it is going to click on ok and see it will happen in a moment so you can keep eye you can uh, go back and see so you clicked on ok so it is working fine now i want to click on cancel so instead of uh, accept i'll work on cancel so i have commented this out and we can use this let me maximize this as well so if i run this now it is going to click on cancel so see it has clicked on cancel so that means now we understand how to work with simple alerts and how to work with confirmation alerts okay now the third type of alert which is going to come into picture is prompt alerts so what do we mean by prompt alert that we have to supply some information to it so if i click on this you'll see it is telling i am a js prompt and whatever value you want to input so let's say i want to write uh, youtube here or whatever i'll click on ok and it is going to say something like this you have entered youtube okay now in case of prompt alerts we have to pass the variable and then click on this function so there are different ways to work with this but uh, a more uh, correct way to use this is i'm going to explain on this so let me just comment this out and i'll comment this out as well and we are going to use now this particular alert prompt alert let me put this down here in the comment section i'm going to provide everything in the description section okay so either you can write it like driver dot find element by so this is the initial code i am going to write so since we want to click on this js prompt i am going to click on focus and click on this and here only this thing is changing so i am going to just update the x path to prompt and it is finding one out of one so i will just use this and if i go to eclipse here you will see by dot by dot x path and i'll mention this x path here and uh, i have to perform a click operation on this so i'll mention click and i'll close this okay so it is going to click on the third option now since 
in case of prompt alert we have to perform two different actions so we can write it like driver dot switch to dot alert okay and dot send keys and here we can pass whatever we want to pass so let's say i'll write like my video or something like that okay what it is going to do is it is going to perform first action now for second action also you have to mention something like similar driver dot switch to dot alert and dot we have to click on let's say okay so i'll click on accept and i'll close this okay now it can work like this it can work in another way as well i'm going to show you that in a minute so if i run on this what it is going to do it is going to put this in the prompt section then it is going to click on okay so let's quickly ch check this out i have clicked on run so it is going to click on the prompt button and it is going to key in like my channel or something like my video whatever we have entered and it is displaying it like this okay now let's say after clicking on js prompt let's say uh, we'll take the scenario i'm entering something but then i'm clicking on cancel okay so i will write let's say here instead of accept i can write dismiss so i'll just copy this i am uh, commenting everything out and not deleting it just so that uh, i'll put that in the description section so that uh, everyone can uh, use it accordingly in case they just want to take a look at that so dismiss and close okay and uh, this is fine so since it is going to click on cancel nothing is going to come so see it has launched it is going to click on the prompt and then it is going to click on cancel so it is going to not capture that that's why it is coming as null okay now we can either use this type of functionality okay so that i'll mention that this is the first approach to work with prompt alerts and second approach i'll show after this so let me just comment this out okay now second approach so here what we can do is we can use alert class so i'll write alert and whatever you want to write so let's say you want to write uh, prompt okay is equal to we have to write driver dot switch to dot alert okay so what we have done is we have stored the set of actions into alert class so you have to import this obviously so i'll just scroll above this and i'll import this now you don't have to mention this all together now you can pass the commands okay so let's say we want to pass the we have will use prompt because we have defined prompt here and prompt dot send key similar functionality we are going to do so i'll just write let's say subscribe to my channel okay i think c is missing here and i'll close this okay now this prompt is going to enter now we have to either accept or reject so i'm going to put prompt dot accept and similarly i can do prompt dot reject now let's check this out if this is working so it is launching my page and it is going to put that subscribe uh, text whatever i have mentioned so here you see it is working subscribe to my channel so that covers all three different type of alerts and then we have authentication based pop-ups and uh, uh, pop-ups as well how to work with pop-ups so i'm going to cover that in my next video let me know how you find this video if you have any comments to like share and subscribe and uh, let me just quickly wrap this up so basically three type of alerts are there and we can use uh, driver dot switch to dot alert and then whatever type of action we want to perform we can mention for accepting or for uh, dismissing we have accept or dismiss however we have other functionalities as well like get text and etc we have a lot of functionalities so you can play around with that in case uh, in these cases as well we can use uh, this alert class as well because this will give the functionality and then you don't have to write driver dot switch to every line and then you can reuse this so that pretty much sums it up i'm going to put this website name as well whatever we have used here in the 
description section and uh, I'm going to put the code as well in the description section and do like share and subscribe and have a great day thank you bye